I'm Taylor and I actually got my uh, photography licensed as a business when I was 16. I actually got started in photography and modeling by doing like self-portrait work with a point and shoot camera. I just put it on a timer and was taking photos and you know I, I posted on social media and people were commenting that they really liked it and everything and that's when I kind of started to think like maybe I could actually do this like maybe this is something that I could be good at. Taylor has been a photographer for over five years. Recently, she found a particular interest in nature photography. A couple years ago, I kind of started to phase out of the weddings and the portrait work. Started to just specialize in the nature and wildlife stuff. Taylor shares her photographs and her love for nature by submitting her pictures to photo contests. I think the first one that I ever participated in was actually um, for the Boyton Historical Society. They were doing like an annual photo contest. So I was taking photos of different trees and stuff in the area, in town, and I think the one that won was actually the train tracks. That was so exciting because I, honestly, going into any contest, I don't have great confidence and so when I enter contests, I kind of go into it figuring I'm probably not going to place. I kind of just go into it not really expecting much, so the first time I placed and pretty much any time I placed after that, it was a lot of shock and then excitement, like, hey, like I did something, that was cool. <laughs> For this contest, Taylor must take a fall-themed picture that includes at least one wild animal. Honestly, what I've learned the most is to just stay humble. Though her squirrel shot didn't win, she's still positive about future photography escapades. As far as getting better, I just kind of look at the people who placed ahead of me and see like what did they do different. I just really would like for people to take away like an appreciation of, of nature and to maybe like think a little more about their impact on it. I just want people to be a little more conscious about how they're impacting the environment.